Hello. Hi. Hello, Juan Francisco. Hello. How are you today? Doing good? <laughs> yes. Excellent. <laughs> Glad to hear With that. Hmm? With too much work. With too much work. Yeah, I believe so. You're working a lot? Yes. Really? So we're going to start. We have Raul Francisco too right here. Is that Raul Francisco? Yes. I think so, right? Let's wait for another person so we can start. Good evening. Good evening, Veronica. How are you? I'm very good. Very good. Yeah. And you? Very good, too. Very, very good. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm going to work here. Just let me delete this. I think we're going to start. We have enough people to start. We have Juan Francisco, Sandra Veronica, and Raul Francisco that is going to turn on his camera. Juan Fra Raul Francisco, can you turn on your camera? Cipote, enciende la cámara. He's eating, maybe. No. <laughs> Probably, right? Okay, so let's just start here. Well, ya regresa. Ya regresa. ¿De qué galán? No se muevan de donde están. Ha visto usted. Es la ganga. Verde. <laughs> Ya regreso, dice. Las pupusas le han llevado a la puerta de la casa. Now we're going to start here. Can you see my computer? Yes. Okay, very good. Now I was just checking here also. Let me take a look on this. We will continue with unit four, which is trainings. All right, so this is the like the last unit for this course. Right, and we will continue working about, you know, these competencies right, that we have to develop every every time. For us to do that, right, we, we're going to continue with video conference number 17, talking about performance report. That's what we're going to do. And, and, like I said yesterday, the first activity that we are going to do is to check on the exercise that we we did last time, right? This is the exercise from the discussion forum. Right? Did you complete this exercise? Not yet. Not yet, Santo Padre. What about you, Juan Francisco? <laughs> no. Not yet? No. And what about you, Raul Francisco? No. No. Okay. I am the velado. I am I am the brother. <laughs> At what time do you start working? At uh, three a.m. Three a.m. <gasps> yeah. I wish I could believe you, but I can't. I don't believe you. Hello, Sandra Corina. Yes, I believe you because I am preparing las. ¿Qué están preparando, Raúl? Uh, new, new database, la nueva base de datos. The new database. Oh. The new database, nice. That is a lot of work. Ay, déjelo. Me le van a parar. Now, we're going to, to, to continue. Corina, did you finish the exercise? Mm, yeah. 
Ah, you see? She finished. Mm -hmm. Right? We're going to work here, right? I'm going to give you, you're going to do this individually, okay? I'm going to give you one mm -hmm. sentence right now, and you're going to try to guess which is the verb that you're going to use, right? Mm -hmm. Now, wake up, Juan Francisco, drink coffee. Now, we have this exercise, right? Number one is going to be for Sandra Corina. Yeah. A woman in Russia, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Number two, wait, 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 wait. Number two is, is for Juan Francisco. Number three is for Raul Francisco. Number four is for uh, Sandra Veronica. Okay, and one, two, three, four. Yes, very good. And uh, we're going to wait for someone else. Think about the answer just for that specific question. Okay? You have the exercise there in the discussion form. Right? Or do you want to say it here on the computer? No. Yes. Yes. Okay. Please. For favor, <laughs> Okay, let me let me put uh, let me uh, put the information here on the computer one more time. Can you see it now? Yes. yes. Yeah. Very nice. So number one, Corina, Francisco, the other Francisco, and Veronica. Let's see the answers that you can get. And number five is for Alan Javier Ardon Rivera. Okay. Great. Okay. Okay, wait. We're gonna give, I'm gonna give you one minute. Okay. Uh, wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna give you one minute for you to finish. Okay, okay. Because your classmates didn't do the homework. <laughs> okay. One minute. Which is the best verb for your answer? Alan, are you there? Number two. Why are you doing things to my my? Oh, sorry, <laughs> I I I push that button. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I make a line there. I can see that, Alan Javier. I can erase. Wait. <laughs> eliminar. Your question is number five, George Hood. Okay. George Hood. You have 30 seconds. Right. A extraordinary bicycle and. Do it, do it, and I will ask you in one minute, okay? Okay. Okay, are we okay. ready? Are we ready? Yeah. Yes? Okay, so let's see the answers that you should have from this from this uh, exercise. Number one. Number one. What should be the answer that you can have for number one? Sandra Corina. Okay. I I go a room. I, mm -hmm. I woman in Russia have in Russia, six, Russia, Russia, a woman a Russia have six eight children between seventeen twenty five and seventeen six five. Very good. A woman in Russia had six and nine children between seventeen twenty five in 1765 that's very nice great okay. what about number two what's the answer for number two raul for me number three. Oh, so francisco read the complete sentence okay 
Francisco, we cannot hear you. Speak louder. Can you hear me? Yes. Now, yes. Okay. In 2013, Joel Chestnut of California eat, eat, ate, eat. In past, what is the past tense of eat? Eat is the past. Eat is the past. No. Are you sure? Eight. 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 Very good. Eight. Okay. California eight. 69 hot dogs in 10 minutes. Very good, Juan Francisco. In 2013, Joy Chestnut of California ate 69 hot dogs in 10 minutes. Okay, very nice. What about number three, Raul? Uh, in, in 1982 to 83, Timothy Roy sit. Sit in a tree in a California for 431 days. 431 days. Okay, very good. Sit. Okay, that would be the past tense of? Uh, what is the past tense of sit? Sit. Sit. Are you sure? Con E de Arvinal. No. It's a regular verb. Look, look for the past tense of sit, Raul Francisco. I'll be back to you. Okay. Uh, look for I'm the answer not, right now. I'm not sure. Look for the answer. Look for the answer. Okay. Number four, Sandra Veronica. I'll be back to you, Francisco. Raul Francisco. Mm -hmm. Okay, Univers University lecturer Kapila Kumara Shinge, speaker not stop about Bushim, Bush, Bush, his for uh, 100, 159 hours. Okay. This is Spock. No. Speak, Spock, Spock. Very good. Speak, past tense of the speak is spoke because it's an irregular verb. Very good. Spoke. Very good. Now, uh, what about number five? Alan Javier. Okay. George had a. Uh, George Hood, like Robin Hood. Uh, George Hood uh, wrote. Mm -hmm. wrote a stationary bicycle and sought it for for more than 111 hours sit no sat. sat like this yes but but francisco already no. used that verb ah wait 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 ah yeah yeah you you are right so um and yeah, and road and the uh -huh. is mm. what is the answer of me? Pay attention of me. Okay. <laughs> Get on and and uh huh. Who can help uh, Alan Javier? Osmin, Melvin? Get on? No. Get on? <laughs> okay. What is the get meaning on. of what is the meaning of get on? And what is the meaning of ride? We need to look for can you see my my page where it says Inglés Corporativo? Can you see that? No? Uh, the, in chat. In three. Who is it? Sat in three. Okay, very good, Raul Francisca. That's the answer. Very nice. You see? You just need to search. Can you see my computer right now? Yes. Okay. I need you to pay attention to this. Okay. 
First, we are going to change the verb for number three is sat. That's the past tense of sit. Can you see the change in the PowerPoint? Yes. Yes, okay. Now I'm going to move to Google, right? In Google, right, we're going, to, I need you to pay attention to this. I'm going to look for one verb is get on. Get on. Right? Get on. Now I'm going to go to images, right? What is the meaning of get on? Look at this. Okay, very good. Right, look at the guy. Right, the, the, the boy bus. is the, the boy is getting on the bus. Right. Okay. okay. Yes. Remember yeah. the meaning. Remember the meaning. Right. You can get on. For example, get on a plane. Get on a boat. Right. Get on a, on train, a bicycle. Get on yeah. a bicycle. Okay. Very yeah. good. Think and the about past, that. Okay. Very good. Past tense is. Wait. 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 Now okay. I need you to see the meaning of ride. Row. Oh, there's a song. Ah, oh, twenty-one five. Okay. Right. Now, look at the meaning of ride. What is the meaning of ride? Ride a bicycle. Ride a more motorcycle. Mm -hmm. Very okay. good. But ride yeah. is the action of you know you are okay. you are already there, right? On the ride. bicycle. Drive. Right? Uh huh. Look. Ride is the action of drive a bicycle or a motorcycle exactly so what will be the answer here in number five everyone okay is it okay we have your food road is that correct a stationary bicycle yes and no 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 go on go on get on got on got on got on got on very good a stationary, a stationary bicycle. bicycle and road and road it for more than 111 hours and rode it for more than 111 hours it. very uh -huh. good you see the difference of the verbs they are very similar but they are not the same right now do you have the answers for this yes yeah. everyone yeah. Okay, so these are the answers that you need to give on the discussion forum for this last week, right? Mm -hmm. It's very important that you go to the discussion forum and you complete the exercise there, right? It's very important. If you don't do it, you will have, hello, Maria. You will have one point less on your midterm, so pay attention. Now, let's continue working. Okay. Now, we're going to work here with small conversation right now. All right, let's take a look at the conversation. This conversation, we're going to, again, practice a pronunciation, right? We're going to see the past tense. And I need you to pay attention here because I will be asking you some questions, right? Now, we have Hank and Eric. I want you to practice here with Hank and Eric. It's going to be, Hank is going to be Sandra Veronica, and Osmin is going to be Eric. Okay, let's see. Mm -hmm. Hi, Eric. Did you buy the spark for the sewing machine? Yes, I, yes, I did, Robert. The price was seventy-eight dollars. Dollars or dollars? Dollars. Okay. Dollars. Okay. I need the evolution of the pro of the new product. That's right. It will be ready tomorrow. Great. Did you order it online or did you buy by downtown? Don't yes, I went to get it by myself downtown. How was the customer service? 
It was nice as usual. As usual. Very good, very good. Now I need you to tell me, uh, let's see, Melvin. Can you tell me what is an example of sentence or, or question, positive or negative sentence in past in this conversation? One example. Mm -hmm. did, ha um, did Hank need some evaluation? Did Hank need, need some evaluation of the product? No. Okay, what is that sentence? Did Hank? I don't see that sentence. No, just read one example from the from the conversation. One sentence. Oh, For example, oh, one example is this. The price was $78. Is that in past tense? Yes. Yes, very good. Oh, now, I got it. Oh, okay. uh -huh. mm, I went to get it by myself downtown. Very good. I went to get it by myself downtown. Very good, that's another example. Tell me another example, Maria. Did you buy the spare part for the sewing machine? For the sewing machine? Very good, that's a question, very nice. Did you buy the spare part for the sewing machine? Very good. Now, Alan, what's the next one? Uh, it was nice as usual. It was nice as usual. Very good. What's another example, Juan Francisco? Uh, the question of to say, Hank, how was the customer service? How was the customer service? Very good. That's a nice example. Very nice. Another example there. Uh, is Esther? Is Esther here? Yes. Yes, I'm here. <laughs> okay. Hi, teacher. Hi. Did you order it online? Did you order it online? That's another example, very nice. And I need another example, uh, Raul Francisco. Or did you, buy, did you buy it downtown? Or did you buy it downtown? Did you buy it downtown? Okay, very good. There is one more. Who can identify the last sentence that we have? Sandras, what is the last sentence that we haven't identified yet? Uh huh. I yes, I did, Robert. Yes, I did, Robert. Very good. That's the last one. Give an applause to yourself. Very nice. You can identify simple past in a conversation. Perfect. 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 That's great. Now we're going to continue working here. This is the conversation. This conversation is on your book. We are going to practice the conversation, right? And we are going to answer the questions that we have below the conversation. I will tell you, we're going to get in groups right now. And the conversation that we are practicing right now, sorry. is on page 41. So go to page 41 to your book, please. Okay. On page 41, we have this conversation and we also have these three questions that we're going to practice. What did Eric need to buy? What was the price of the product? And how was the customer service at the store? Right, very easy questions that we're going to do. After you finish this, you need to practice the conversation with your partners. And we're going to pick up two groups so we can continue working today. Today we're going to do a lot of exercises with simple pass, okay? So let's start. Are we clear on what we're going to do? Yeah. Yes? Yes, very yes. clear? No clear? Yes, okay. Yes. <laughs> Let's start working. We're going to work in pairs, so let's start. 
Let's go, let's go. Let us go. Let's go, people. Let's go, let's go. En el pasado puede hacer que vengan. Ahí me avisa. Ok, gracias. Ok. Ahí, ahí está la teacher oyéndonos. Uh -huh. <laughs> Any yes. questions? Uh, no, no, we are going to practice the, the, the paragraph right now. Ok, perfect. I'm listening. Ok, good. ¿La tiene ahí I'm... o quiere que le comparte la pantalla? No, no I, 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 have okay. I have it. No, no problem. I'm Hank. Okay, good. Hi, Eric. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, sorry. Hi, what Eric. Happened? Did you buy the car part for the sewing machine? Yes, I did, Robert. The price was uh, $78. Okay, I need the evaluation of the product. Of the new product? That's right. I will be ready tomorrow. Great. Did you order online or did you buy in downtown? Uh, yes, I went to get, get it by myself downtown. How was the customer service? It was nice as usual. Now uh, you are Hank and I'm Eric. Let's okay. just mm -hmm. let's just practice here. Uh, we say, did you order it online? Or order is a difficult word. Order. 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 <laughs> then we say order it. Order it. Did you order it online? Did you order it online? Very good. Very good. Okay. Right. Okay. Continue practicing. I will work with another uh, group and don't forget to answer the questions. Okay. Good. Thank you. Okay. See you. See you. See you. What did Eric need to buy? I need to buy some a spare part for the sewing machine. Oh, sewing machine. Is sewing machine? Que es machine? Es como que sewing. Yo creo que es una lavadora. Sewing, no sé qué. Sewing machine. Yes, teacher. Let's look. Let's look on the on the computer. Okay. Can you see my computer? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay. We're gonna yes. do the same here. Now we put here on Google sewing machine. Machine. And look what a sewing machine is. Ah. Oh. Oh. Uh -huh. yes, That's a okay. Look this one is. Fabular. Okay. Okay, that's a sewing machine, okay? I think it's a drowning. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what did Continue. Eric need to buy is the part for the sewing machine. Okay, what did Eric Sewing, sewing, so sewing. 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 sewing machine, sewing machine. Part for the sewing machine. Ah, sewing machine. Sewing. Two. What was the price of the product? Yes, the man, and please. Part. Part, part. For the uh, sound machine. Or a new, or the new part, probably. Yeah, the. What is a, a new spark part? Hmm? New spark part for the sewing machine. Sewing machine. Okay, so number two. What was the price of the product? Uh, what was 
seven eight dollar. The price is was seven eight uh, was yes. Mm -hmm. The price was seven eight dollars. Um, and how was the customer service? Seven eight is that a number? Seven eight. Seventy. Uh, Seventy-eight dollars. Seventy-eight dollars. Seventy-eight dollars. Very good. Very nice. Continue. Okay. Thanks, teacher. How was the customer service at the store? The last one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's in the downtown. Mm -mm. How was the customer service? Look at the conversation. Uh, it was nice as usual. 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 Very good. It was nice as usual. Very nice. It was nice as usual. Está bien enredada la palabra. It was nice as usual. Ahí está, ya me salió. There you are. Teacher, it's sewing machine. Sewing machine. Sewing machine. Sewing machine. Do you know what is a sewing machine? Yes. Um, the one that you use to, to, to make, design. No. Clothing. But how do you say tailor? Uh, fabric. Um, fabric. Fabric. That's the way you say it. Mm. Right? You can have here the sewing machine and then we have fabrics. <laughs> fabric I is saying. <laughs> This is fabrics. Look at different fabrics here. And then we have a sewing machine and then we have fabrics. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. You finish? Yes? Yes. Yes. But okay. ya no, ya no para allá. Did you practice the conversation? Yes, again. <laughs> ah, yeah, he dice wait, dice el otro. <laughs> Let's go. Break it. No, I say break. <laughs> Ah, break. A break. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. <laughs> Bye. -bye. <laughs>now we're going to see here, I'm going to pick up some of you to, to you know, to share the conversation, right? Uy. Miren que lo. Okay. Let's see. Let's have here Sandra, Veronica, and Melvin. Let's start with you guys. Hello, Fatima. Okay, go ahead, Sandra, Veronica. Hello. Veronica. Sandrita. You're in mute. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> okay, let's start. Okay. Hi, Eric. Did you buy the spa, spare part for the sewing machine? Yes. Sewing machine? Yes, I did, Robert. The price was $78. Okay, I need the evaluation of the product. Of the new product? That's right. It will be ready tomorrow. Great. Did you order it online or did you buy in downtown? Yes, I went to get it by myself downtown. How was the customer service? It was nice, as usual. Very nice, very nice. Very good pronunciation, both. Very nice. Now, Sandra Veronica, choose another another person, please. Uh, Fatima, Giselle. Fatima, I think Fatima didn't practice the conversation. Uh, 
Okay. She just okay. arrived. Alan? 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 Yes, I'm here. With who? Your partner. Alan, my partner? Mm -hmm. My partner, partner? We will be, let me find my partner. And Esther. Esther, no, okay. Wait. <laughs> Sorry, Esther. Let's go. Thank you, Alan. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> okay. Let's practice pronunciation. Okay. I'll I be Hank. I'm Eric. Okay. Hi, Eric. Did you buy the spare part for the sewing machine? Yes, I did, Robert. The price was $78. Okay. I need the evaluation of the product. Of the new product? That's right. It will be ready tomorrow. Great. Did you order yeah. it online or did you buy it downtown? Yes, I went to get my, myself downtown. How was the customer, customer service? It was nice as usual. Okay, very nice, very nice. So there we are, right? We have a, com a, a conversation. Remember, you did very good with pronunciation. Now let's see who's going to answer the first question. Is there? Choose one person. Uh, let me see. Maria de Jesus. Maria? Oh, she has the answer. What did Eric need to buy? Maria? Uh, he, let me see. Mm -hmm. Eric, did you buy the spare part for the sewing machine? Eric needed. Needed. Uh -huh. Needed. To buy. To buy. Needed to buy the spare part for the sewing machine. Very good, that's very good. Eric needed to buy the spare part for the sewing machine. Very nice. Who's the next person, Maria? Uh, let me see. Um, Osmin. Osmin. Very nice. What was the price of the product, Osmin? No spoil. <laughs> <laughs> my yeah. mic was off. <laughs> <laughs> the answer num number two is the product. The product was seventy-eight dollars. The product was seventy-eight dollars. That's perfect, Osmin. Very nice. And the last one. Who's going to be the next person, Osmin? Um, Mm -hmm. Esther? Es, no, Esther participated already, another person. Okay. Uh... Raúl, Fátima, okay. Uh -huh. Fátima Giselle. Fátima Giselle. Fátima, do you have the answer? Yes. Okay. Uh... How was the customer service at the store? Uh, it was nice as usual. It was nice as usual. Very nice, Fatima. Very nice. So we have the answers for these three questions. Do we understand the conversation or do you have a question? No. No? Wait, what is, no, wait. I have a question. What, mm -hmm. what is, they are talking about a machine, a sewing, sewing machine. What is that? Sewing. A sewing machine. Sewing, right? machine. Okay. sewing machine. Now, what we're sewing. going to do, look at this. When we are going to, oh, give me one second. What we're going to do, Alan, right, for finding information for words that we do not know, right, pretty much yeah. what, we know, what we need to do is the following. We're going to go to okay. Google, right? Yes. We're going to put here 
sewing machine, right? Okay. We search and then we click on images, not translation, okay? Not translation. Mm. Images, okay. right? And what is a sewing machine? Oh. oh, that is a sewing machine. It's the machine that you use to create clothing. Yes. That's, that is a sewing machine. Okay? Very good. Another question? People? Thanks. You're welcome. Another question? No questions? Very nice. Can you see my PowerPoint? Yes. Yes? Let's go ahead and do two exercises right now. We're going to do two exercises and we're going to work with simple paths, right? We're going to do letter A and letter B. Like I said, today we're going to do a lot of exercises with simple paths, okay? Now, the first one, letter A. Esther, can you read the instruction? Tim is taking, is talking about his weekend. Complete the sentences, then compare with a path. Very good. So we have there, right, a small paragraph about team, right? And we have here verbs that we are going to use, right? The verse in parentheses, can you see the verse in parentheses? Yes. It's here, right here. Right? These are the ones that we are going to use to create the answers. All of them must be in past tense, right? Teacher, pero yo no me los puedo. Don't worry, right? You are going to learn the verse one by one, okay? Now, let's take a look at the first example. Uh, Edwin, can you please read from here to here? On Friday night. Okay, on Friday night, um, I wait for a phone call, but my girlfriend didn't call. Very good. Well, on, on Friday night, I waited for a phone call, but my girlfriend didn't call. I'm sorry, right? Like always. <laughs> like all the girlfriends, right? <laughs> now, all the girlfriends. now, we're going to use here, we're going to work right now, and we're going to see all of the verbs. What is the next verb? Is stay, then we have watch, visit, talk, listen, Invite, cook, work, study, walk, and shop. All of these verbs, one tip, all of these verbs are regular verbs. So it means that you are going to add only ed, right? All of them are regular verbs. So you can add ed or d or ied. Right? It will depend. What are you going to do? Because you don't know all the verbs. Right? We're going to go to Google. We're going to put past tense of visit. What is the past tense of visit? Let's, let's go, go ahead and do that. Go to Google on your computers or your cell phones right now. And look visit. for... Huh? Visit. 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 Okay. How do, you, how do you spell uh, that, Melvin? Very good. And that's the way we're going to do for the others. Right? That's the way we're going to do for the others. Then let's see exercise B. Juan Francisco, please read the instructions for exercise B. The letter B. Uh -huh. Okay. Complete the sentence. Use your own information, then compare it with the parent. Okay, very good. This this exercise is about you, right? And it's very easy, right? It says yesterday I watched TV, for example. Right? The only thing that you have to do, right, is that you're going to put information the verse in past tense. All of them are regular verbs as well. Right? All of them are regulars. Right? So you don't have to worry about that. Right? And they are the same verbs that we use in exercise A. Are we clear on what we are going to do? Yes? yes. No? Maybe? Okay. Let me let me put again in a 
you know, clean, clean environment here so you can take a screenshot. Okay, so please take a screenshot of the exercise. Are you done? Yes. Got yes? it. Yes. Okay. Very good. So How let's can go. I do it? Huh? The screenshot. You just click on print. Can I do it? You just click on print. I don't know how to say that word in it, that tecla. Print is next to, in my computer, it's next to the plane on the keyboard. Está una tecla que tiene un avioncito y a la par dice print en mi computadora. No sé si existe en la suya. Un avión. Uh -huh. En mi teclado sí hay un avioncito. Acá. Hay, un, hay una tecla donde puede imprimir pantalla. Esa tecla va a presionar. Uh -huh. Presiónela el... y luego la, copia la imagen en un documento de Word. No, no pues no voy a poder. ¿Por qué? No tengo Word. Vaya Solo tres teclas tiene la computadora. <ríe> Open Google Drive, people. You don't need Word anymore. Google le regala todo el Office en Google Drive. Google 365. Uh -huh. The Google Drive. Okay. Now, are we are, are we ready now? Yes. Yes. Okay. Very good. Let's go ahead and start working here. Right. You are going to work with other people. You're not going to work with the same people. Right. Mm -hmm. And let's start. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Choose your groups. To all the verbs. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Very nice. Okay. And let's start. Francisco, I just sent you the, the link for Google Drive, Google Docs. Okay. So you can work online. Así no pagan in your office. He knows all the verbs in fact. Congratulations. It's very smart. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, start right. at number three. You want to uh, share my, my screen? You have the, the screenshot. Yeah. And you, Juan? No, yet now. I'm sharing my screen. Le vale. <laughs> yeah. No. You see my screen. Oh, that's my face. Yes. Que le pasa siempre me pone así en cara. No. Eh. Ya me voy mejor. Está. Yes, that is. Yes, and watch too. Is it busy like the teacher said? <laughs> <laughs> teacher, yeah. all the okay. are regular, right? Yes, all of them are regular. Exactly. <laughs> all of them, all of them. Uh, uh, on Saturday, I visit, visited my friend, my friend Frank. Your names. We talk and listen to music. In the evening, he invited some friends over and we cooked a great meal. 
I didn't work very hard on Sunday. I I don't study. Study. I don't. I I'm not study. I, I what is the, 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 the exactly? Remember the auxiliary for simple past, Melvin, is did. I, I, did, I, did, I didn't study. I didn't study. I, ah, did it, yeah, yes, yes. Why I, didn't why I didn't study and not I didn't study, Melvin? Because the auxiliary makes the verb uh, not in the normal form or the base form. In the base form. Very yes. good. Mm -hmm. Very good. I'll see you in a moment. I didn't okay. study. I'm crying very loud, so I'm trying to uh, see what, what I don't know what's wrong with her. Oh Is she sick? No, no, I don't think so. She's she's angry. Yes, I think <laughs> she's making she's making a berrinche right now. <laughs> That's usual with the babies. <laughs> yes. yes. And I'm sorry for the noise. Don't worry. Haven't you seen Veronica? She's like, move. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you do. I see you. <laughs> she's like, <laughs> no, you're last hello you when I'm not even last last time I think it was last week she was like and she pushed the head of the baby. <laughs> oh for sorry. Key. Sorry. <laughs> Poor kid. I was like, okay. <laughs> she sorry. was like, I need to pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> Go to bed right now. <laughs> I think that's what you said, but I like, come. So I was like, okay. <laughs> 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 yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, I'm Look, uh, we, we, uh, before this, with the we get laughing. <laughs> we have a, we, we have a, a question with uh -huh. uh, Sandra. Because uh, the, the, what is the real pronunciation of, uh, what was the word? Uh, cook. Cook. Because she uh, cooked, right. It's, it's cooked. not cooked, right? No, it's not cooked. It's cooked. cooked. There are cooked. three type of pronunciations here in, in, in English for the for the regular verbs that we're going mm -hmm. to see. So don't worry. But yes, it's a, a little bit difficult, right, regarding pronunciation mm -hmm. because they are not the same. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah. You, you see, Sandra, you see? I told you the teacher is good. Tell yes. us about the pronunciation. Yes, thank you very much. You're welcome. You're welcome. And we right. need pronunciation in the case, too. In the case of walk, mm -hmm. is walk. Walked. I'm going to show walk. you. Walk. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going to show you a little bit of what we're going to do in a minute. Once you finish this, okay. this exercise. All right. right. Let me show you here. Can you see my computer? Yes. Yes. Okay. After this exercise, we're going mm -hmm. to see uh, the pronounce. This is the spelling, the way that you have to write the verbs, and this is mm -hmm. the pronunciation. Right. Oh. If you look at this, what, what this is what we're going to do. We're going to practice mm -hmm. because there are three type of pronunciations. Right. So cook. Mm -hmm. Cook is with the letter K, so it ends with the letter K. Cook. So the pronunciation in past is cooked, 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 exactly. And what was the other one? What was the other one that you said? Walk, 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 walk. A ends with K as well. So the pronunciation in past is walked. I walked a lot walk. yesterday. Mm -hmm. Walk, so, walk. Yeah. Walk. This is this is what we're going to do, but in a minute, okay? <laughs> okay good. That's a, that's after Thank this this. this this exercise. Did you finish by the way? Yes? Uh, no, not yet, but not we're going to finish. Okay, okay. It'll be on. <laughs> okay, perfect. I see you in a moment. Okay, okay. thank okay. you. Thank You're you. welcome. Okay. Um, I use stayed home I just stayed and home. watched 
Watch, watch TV. Watch TV. Watch TV. On Saturday, I visit. 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 My friend Frank. We talk. 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 Okay. Talk. We talk. And listen to. Listen to. Listen. To music. To music. Listen to the music. In the evening, he invited some friends, friends over, and we cooked, cooked, cooked our meal. I didn't work very mm -hmm. hard, and Saturday I didn't study, study, didn't, I didn't, didn't study, study, at all. study. Yes, at all. At all. At all. At all. At all, yes. Excuse me. I use all walk, 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 walk. Very good, Anna. Very good. We're going to see pronunciation after this exercise. So don't worry. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> walk, walk. It's like it's like um. Do you know China Walk the restaurant? China walk? Okay. You're going to say walk the same way. I walked. I walked. You walk. don't pronounce, the, you don't, listen, you don't pronounce the letter L. No. No. You don't say walk. No, walk. I walked a lot yesterday, for example. Okay. Walk. Walk. Don't pronounce the L. No pronounce la L. No se pronuncia. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Pronounce lo como restaurante, China walk. China walk, walk, China walk, walk, China walk, China walk. Okay. Pronounce the China walk. Okay. Ah, China. Bye. Ahora pronuncia el verbo walk. The same way. Walk, 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 walk. Exactly. Okay. Walk, walk. Con K. Con K. Exacto. Okay. Very good. Okay. I think we're gonna go. We're gonna go with the others so we can continue working. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So let's let's continue here. We're going to share the answers for the exercise. But first I need to call the attendance, okay? So we're going to move to Spanish. Voy a llamar la asistencia. Solo vamos a esperar que todos se unan y luego seguimos con la clase. Porque les voy a robar unos dos minutitos para darles una información administrativa. Y quiero que sea en español. Estamos todos. Ok. Ok, ok. Les vamos a cobrar 100 dólares. No, mentira. uh, we're going first the attendance first things first let's see here today is august the twenty. Ah, sí, español ahora es oh, uh, 25 de agosto eh, esther maricela orellana maradiana i'm here raul francisco márquez argueta present sandra verónica herrera vanegas present ada lilian hernández de salmerón osmin alexander hernández campos Present. Ellington Antonio Fuentes Reyes. María de Jesús Cardona de Fuentes. María. Present. Ok, thank you. Al, Alan Javier Hernández. Alan Javier Ardón Rivera. Who is he? Who's, I'm here. Ok. Uh, José René Abregón. Sergio Alexander, Miguel Orlando, Fátima Giselle Valladares Parada. Present. 
Eh, Mayra Noemí Cardoso. José Antonio Renderos Alfaro. Juan Francisco Ayala Montano. Present. Zulma Patricia Donis Colato. Carla Gabriel Flores Pineda. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Here. Sandra Corina Miranda Maya. Melvin Alexander Serrano Mercado. Present. Okay, very nice. So we have here the people for the otro dormido. <laughs> we see you, uh, Raúl Francisco. Now, eh, vamos a seguir. Les quería dar una información de Insafora estrictamente. Eh, eh, el entonces después de la asistencia viene. El entonces Antonio Fuentes. Present. Ya se puede conectar otra vez. Ya, ya se puede. No, 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 no diga eso. Eso. <laughs> Now, eh, eh, la información que le voy a dar. Esta semana, por ser la última semana de Insafor, mm. van a recibir una encuesta de parte de Insafor. Eh, se la van a enviar mm, posiblemente por correo electrónico o por WhatsApp. Esa encuesta, la, aunque la reciban mañana o la reciban durante la semana, la vamos a completar el viernes todos juntos. ¿verdad? Porque necesito que cuando usted, obviamente, cada quien la va, la va a completar a conciencia, porque es una... Ah, exacto, porque es como una, una encuesta, es como que fuera de servicio al cliente, ¿verdad? Entonces, la van a completar ustedes, pero quiero que cuando la, la hayan completado, todos vamos a, bueno, todos ustedes, no yo, todos ustedes van a enviar el screenshot que va a decir completado o gracias por completar su encuesta al WhatsApp del grupo. Okay. Entonces tengo que verificar que el que lo vaya terminando vaya enviando el, 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 la, la captura de pantalla a WhatsApp porque esa encuesta no es opcional. Tienen que completarla porque así completan ustedes el proceso de su beca. Pero así el Insafor ya está sabedor que ustedes han completado la encuesta y ellos eh, tienen prácticamente yo, yo, yo. la información de cómo estuvo el curso. Entonces, aunque usted... Eh, lo, lo que tienen que saber es que aunque las reciban mañana, porque creo que mañana la van a estar enviando, lean bien las instrucciones porque prácticamente solamente va a ser de copiado y pegado porque van a tener un código. Todos los grupos tienen un código. Ustedes por ser el grupo de módulo 6 tienen un código diferente al del módulo 5, al del intermedio, todos tienen un código distinto. Entonces se les va a enviar el correo para que solo copien y peguen esos códigos y puedan entrar. Y si tienen algún problema, por eso es que vamos a estar todos juntos. Lo vamos a completar a las 9 de la noche el viernes. ¿Okay? Y lo terminamos y enviamos el screenshot directo al WhatsApp y nos lavamos las manos ya que ya hicimos ese cosa. Y esto. ¿Ok? También eh, vamos a estar, creo que las, dos últimas, dos, las últimas dos clases para terminar el, el material que tenemos ya planificado para este curso. Todos los grupos, todos, todos los grupos de Insafor, nos vamos a quedar 15 minutos extra al final. El, creo que va a ser jueves y viernes porque miércoles no se puede porque tenemos los, la hora para los que están programados para mañana. Para, si tienen preguntas, jueves y viernes nos vamos a quedar 15 minutos extras para ter, por si tienen alguna pregunta o alguna actividad o algún ejercicio que no podamos terminar hasta las 10 y así terminamos. ¿Ok? Sí, chef, pero el viernes el cuerpo lo sabe. Ay, yo sé, niña, créame que yo sé. Más que hoy ya no hay restricciones. Ay, vámonos, vámonos. Hoy la otra. ¿Qué le pasa? Si va con mascarilla, no hay problema. Vamos. ¿Cómo dice? Para la libertad. A la chapu de la libertad. A la chapu de la libertad. Eh, porque la cerra. Entonces, esa es la oh, información. Ahí pegan. Ah, sí, sí. El este... Ya no me desconcentren. Van a recibir la, la encuesta. Por favor, no la completen hasta que estemos todos juntos por si surge alguna pregunta, si surge algún problema técnico de la encuesta. Estamos todos al mismo tiempo. Obviamente, cada quien la va a llenar a conciencia en su computadora o su teléfono sin ningún problema, pero quiero ver que la estén terminando y luego envían solo la captura de pantalla que así que ya la terminaron. ¿Ok? ¿Alguna pregunta acerca de eso? 
No? No? Ok. Very nice. So let's este, continue. Solo quisiera saber, teacher, si, si usted sabe que, uh -huh. como en teoría, terminamos aquí el, el nivel básico, ¿verdad? Y al parecer nos inscribieron para el intermedio. ¿Será que va de corrido? Yo o creo habrá una... es que depende de los procesos de, de los papeles. Todos tienen que enviar los papeles para Insafor para que todos comiencen al inicio. Usualmente hay como una semana de, 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 de descanso, digamos así. Hay como una semana y ya cuando esa semana haya pasado se supone que todos han enviado el papeleo se envían a Nisafor y ustedes ya pueden comenzar tentativamente, creo que vi el correo, que tentativamente empezaba intermedio 1 el 7 de septiembre, tentativamente. Entonces, si todo sale bien, primero Dios, todos van a estar comenzando intermedio 1 el 7 de septiembre. ¿Ok? Bueno, muchas gracias. Así que envíen los papeles, por favor. Sí. <risa> okay. Y hagan las tareas, porque si no, si envían los papeles y no hacen las tareas, no tiene sentido. Ay, sí. no, mañana, mañana manda todo. Mañana manda todo. Y eso sí, también no. faltaban unos sellos, pero ya hoy sí al colegio ya los tengo. Éxito, es eso. Very nice. So, please send all your papers and all your documentation so you can actually get enrolled in the next course right, for intermediate one. Okay? Now, any questions? No? No, no. Okay. So, I have questions right now for you. <clears throat> Let's see here. We're going to go work with this. I need to see the answers for this. And let's see the next sentence. We're going to read sentence by sentence. Remember, the sentence starts with a capital letter and ends with the period. Okay? So the next sentence is for Sandra Veronica. I. Okay. I wait for a phone call, but my girlfriend. The didn't second go. sentence. I just. Uh, okay. I just stay at home. Stay at home and watch TV. And watch TV. Very good. Very good. Continue de Raúl. Raúl. Maybe. <laughs> On Saturday, I visited my friend Frank. On Saturday, I visited my friend Frank. Very nice. Continue there, Maria. We talk and listen to listening to music. Who is who is working with my computer right now? Don't play with my computer. ¿Quién está jugando con mi computer? Let's go ahead and work here again. Okay, one more time. Give me one second. Okay. Can you see here? Yes. Okay, very good. Go ahead, Maria, I'm sorry. We talked. Hi. We talk and listen to music. To music. Mm -hmm. We talk and, and listen near to music. To music. We talked and listen to music. Very good. Continue there, uh, Corina. In the evening. In the evening. He invited some friends over. Invite, invite, invite. Mm -hmm. Continue because that's a some, comma. That's, an, that's not a period. And. He invited some friends over and we cooked a great meal. We cooked a great meal. Very good. Continue there, Osmin. Um, I, I didn't work very hard on Sunday. I okay. Well, okay, I didn't work very hard on Sunday. Okay, continue, Fatima. 
I didn't study at all. I didn't study at all. Very good. Continue there, Esther. Esther. Hi. <laughs> Me quedé a donde voy. <laughs> ah, I just I just walked to the mall and shopped. And shopped. Okay, very good. Very good. Don't worry. And let's see the letter B. Exercise B. Let's start with you, Edwin. The first sentence. First and second sentence. Okay. Yesterday, yesterday I watched TV. Last night I stayed home. Very nice. Continue there, please. Hey, Alan. Last week I cleaned my cleaned the house. Mm -hmm. Last month I chopped the clothes. Four. Uh, sorry. Last last month I chopped for clothes. For clothes. Very good. And the last one, Juan Francisco. Year I visited a different country. Last year I visited a different country. Very good. So, Raina, do you have a question about this exercise? Questions? No. Uh, all of the verbs in this exercise, in these two exercises, all of them are regular verbs. Okay, right. all of them. Okay, regular verse. So we are going to see right now how to write regular verse. Right? Look at there are some rules that we need to you know respect when we have regular verse. Look at this. Can you see here the spelling rules? Right? Nosotros decimos agregale ed. No. There are some rules that we need to uh, actually uh, complete here. For example, if I have a verb that ends with E, what we're going to do is only add D. For example, live, stare, right? Then we're going to have lived, stare. What is another verb that ends with E? That you can remember. Another verb that ends with E. Other verb? Mm -hmm. Drive. Oh, but drive is irregular verb. Ah, just regular. Just regular. So right now, look at look at the information here. It says simple past tense, regular boil. verbs. Huh? Boil. Boil ends with an L. Arrive. I need, I need a verb. What? Arrive. Arrive. Very good. Arrive. I have a verb that ends with E. Right? E at the end. So the only thing that you need to add to make it past tense is that you need to add the letter D. Right? So at the end, the verb will be arrived. This will be the past tense, right? Is that part clear? So all the verse that ends with E, right? Or most of the verse, right? That ends with E, if they are regular verse, we are going to add only D at the end. Leave, stare, spare, dance. arrive, dance, very good. Dance, right? Equals danced, very good. Right. Right. Hmm? Right. The verb right. Right. Like right. Right. No. Right. The R I D E. Oh, right is an irregular verb. Oh, irregular. All oh, right. It's an irregular verb. Yes. So right okay. now we have this this uh, exercise. These examples are for the first rule. Right. Then we have another one. This is ending in vowel. Plus the letter Y. Look at the example. It says stay, play, and then we are going to add ED. Right? What could be another example of this? 
when we have a verb that ends with a vowel, we add ed. For example, look at this verb, enjoy. What is the vowel? O, right? Then we have vowel, the letter Y, right? It will be enjoy. Very good, right? Then we have another example, right? Now, what would be another example with this rule? Mm -hmm. Stay, play, enjoy, what else? Fly, no. Mm, fly is an irregular. Irregular. Word. Yes. And that is actually fly is not possible because it's a it's a consonant plus y, so that doesn't work. Walk, teacher. Walk. Walk. Mm, not really, because no. walk. Where is the y? There's no y. No y. Okay. It needs to have a y, right? Now we are going cry. Cry. It's irregular too. Cry, but it doesn't end. No, it, it is regular. Right? But cry ends with a Y. What? Mm -hmm. Say. Say, like say. Like it's no, say. Save or take. Mm -hmm. Can you spell that? Take. Spell it. Uh, T A Q E. Q E. K. 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 Like take, like this? Yes. What is the Y? ¿Dónde está la letra Y? Ah, con Y, fly. <laughs> no, look at the rule. I need you to pay attention, people. The rule says ending in vowel, ending in vowel plus Y. That's the rule. Look at the examples. Enjoy. State and play, okay. right? Mm -hmm. All of them end with a Y and a vowel. And take is not a Y. Employ, teacher. Employ. Indeed. Very good. Very good. Look at this. Employ, vowel, Y, E, D. Very good. That is an example. She employed, Maria employed three new teachers in 2020. Is it? Right? So and she had study. a study does not have a Y. Look at this, uh, a vowel. What is this? It's not a vowel. This is a consonant. This is a Y. But I need to have a vowel plus Y. That is the rule. That is the rule. Right, look at this, vowel plus y, right? What would be an, then this other rule, it says ending in consonant plus y, we are going to change the y to i, to i and add ed. So here we can use the example that Veronica gave us. She said cry, right? Dry también. Okay, let, let's do, let's do cry. Take. Let's do take. Por qué take? Take. Why take? Uh -huh. No, ending in why. Ending no. in why. Why? Ending in why. Veamos, veamos las, las reglas que vamos haciendo. Pongamos okay. atención a las reglas que estamos haciendo. Right? Now, we have the verb cry. Veronica told us cry. Right? In cry, right, we have... A consonant plus one, right? Oh, uh -huh. That's the verb cry. A when you're consonant. Right, crying. Then what we need to do, according to the rule, is that we are going to delete the Y. We don't need it. And we are going to add I, E, D. That will be the past tense, right? And look at the examples here. Try. Past tense, tried. Carry, carried, right? 
And then we have the other example that Esther gave us. A study. A study. It. Right? You see the difference? Right? These are consonants right. plus Y. Sing. Right? Sing. Why fry, sing? like French fries. Sing. Oh, like. fry. Very good. Very good. Fry. That's an, a nice example. Consonant plus Y. Right? Then we go fry. I fried a lot dry. of French fries today. Dry. Dry, dry like a... Dry hair. Very good. Dry hair. Dry. Dry. She dried all her clothes mm. under the sun. Right. Very good. These are other two examples. Copy the, those new verbs that people are giving. Veronica, your Veronica, sorry, Corina, that verb is not correct. No, Think is not correct. Is here, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Think is not correct. Okay, I'm gonna put this one right here. Right. And then we have other verbs, right? That they are very short verbs, right? Like nod, ripped. We also have the verb, for example, shop. These verbs are just with one syllable. You say shop, nod, ripped. When we have those type of verbs, what we do is that we're going to add another consonant at the end. And then we're going to add ed. Shot, right? Look at the examples we have, right? So the original there is shop, one syllable. When we pronounce it, it's one syllable, right? And then we're going to change it here to simple past. We're going to add another letter and we're going to make it shot, right? Shot. What could be another example here? Mm -hmm. Drop. Uh, uh, drop. Drop. Clap. <laughs> okay. Dropped. Oh, clapped. Very good. Dropped equals dropped. Okay. Clap. Very Shut good. Stopped. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Stopped. Mm -hmm. Is stop okay? Oops, sorry. Is stop equals stopped. 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 Mm, right? Then we have here other examples, right? That we that we can actually use for this rule. And then the last one, right, is when we have two syllables, right? When we are pronouncing two syllables and we make the stress on the second syllable, we are going to also add another you know another consonant and we're going to add ed for example committed commit committed prefer preferred right so this one will depend on the pronunciation we must have two syllables commit preferred right so in past it will be committed it will be three syllables preferred three syllables right so we need to be very careful with this one, right? This is only based on pronunciation, right? If you look at these others, right? The, the, these ones in this rule, the pronunciation is still one syllable. Shocked, dropped, clapped, stopped. One syllable. In this one, it changes. Com commit, committed, right? So we need to be very careful. Right? Okay. Now, I need you to take a screenshot so you have examples of verbs, please. This is only for, you know, for you to have some examples. Do you take the screenshot? Yes. Okay. Yes. Very good. Now, I'm going to, I, I need you to pay attention to the following. Because right now what we're going to do is to practice a little bit of pronunciation, okay? Give me one second. <clears throat> and this pronunciation is pronunciation for regular verse, okay? Regular. Regular verse. Let's pay attention here. Can you see my, my, my screen? 
Yeah. Yes. Mm, yes. It says there pronunciation of the past tense or ed. Now we in in English we have three type of you know pronunciation. We have if we have t and we have d. Yeah. Those are the, the, the you know the pronunciations oh. that I need you to pay attention. Oh. Right. One. One, now it says here, listen, I need you to, to listen first and then we're going to practice, okay? Because we're going to practice a lot. Here we have the pronunciation of the words ending in ed depends on the final consonant sound. The final consonant sound. There are three ways to pronounce this. Way number one, number two, and number three. Okay, those are the three ways that we're going to pronounce. So, if I have a verb, right, and I need you to pay attention to this, we have two, two types of pronunciations. We have voiceless and we have voice, right? Voiceless and voice sound, right? So, how can we identify if the words or the verbs ending in ed are voiceless or voiced, right? And then we need to pay attention. All of the words or all of the verbs that they end with these letters, P, K, F, G, H, S, H, all of the verbs, the pronunciation will be voiceless, okay? And the pronunciation at the end will be like a T, right? And it's going to be voiceless, so we say, for example, the ending of the verb here, look at my look at my word, look at my, my, my screen. It says held. The ending is listen, the ending is, is the letter P, right? So since it is, it ends with the letter P, the pronunciation in past is going to be with this sound, with sound number two, right? So it will be helped, yeah. looked, looked, sniffed, laughed, washed, watched, watched kissed, danced, and fixed. Right? Now we need to pay attention to these letters again and pay attention to the endings of here. Okay? Are we good there? Are we good? Questions? There's a lot of letters. <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> that is for sure. There's a lot of letters, right? And a lot of verse, right? A lot of verse that we need to practice. Now, how can we know that the sound that we're making and say, uh, Sylvia, how can I make that, make sure that this pronunciation is good? For you to make this pronunciation of T, it, it is voiceless. What does voiceless mean? Is that you're going to put here, right? Like your hand in front of your mouth, right? And you will feel air coming out of your mouth, right? Like helped. And you will feel the air coming out, helped. If you don't feel air in your, in your hand, then the pronunciation is not good, okay? So, for this other one, I need you. I need you to first. Let me see you here. I need everyone right now. Here, let me see you. I need you to put your hand in front of your your uh, mouth, just like Veronica. Put your hand in front of your mouth. Very good. Very good. Now you're going to pronounce the word helped. In past, helped. Helped. Very good. Oh. Helped. Oh. Helped. Do you feel do you feel the air coming out? Yes. Oh. Yes? Oh. Helped. Yes. Very good. Oh. Oh. Si no. El airecito, no están oh. Okay? Helped. Oh. Helped. Very Help. good. Help. Now Help. we're going to go with the next pronunciation. Okay? Now we have the pronunciation here, the. This pronunciation you, you're going to do is to put the tip of the tongue right here 
and it's going to be in the back of your teeth, right here. So you said cold, clean, cleaned, cold. offered, mm -hmm. damaged. Listen, listen, loved, used, amazed, rubbed, claimed. Clean. Very good. For this, <laughs> this sound is voiced. So what is the meaning of voice? Voice means that there needs to be a vibration, right? Voice. And the, the vibration that's going to happen is going to happen here on your throat, right? So you're going to put here two fingers on your throat and you're going to feel like a zzz here, cold, cleaned, offered. Mm. Do you feel the vibration? Yeah. Okay, let me see here. Let's see everyone. Oh. I need to see you. Put your two fingers right here on your throat. Let me see. Okay, Edwin, Juan Francisco, Ellington, Fatima. Oh. Put your two fingers here. And then everyone, cleaned. 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 Cold. 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 Damage. 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 Do you Damaged. feel the vibration? Do you feel the vibration? Damage. Yes? yes. Okay, yeah. very yeah. good. If you yeah. if you don't feel the vibration, then the pronunciation cold. in past is not good. Okay? Very good. Now the other pronunciation is pretty easy. This one. Pronunciation number one. That is pretty easy because you say wanted, needed, waited. Wanted, mm -hmm. needed, waited. Very good. For that one, you use again, wanted, needed, wanted, needed. waited, right? Wanted, you, needed. It is, it is voice sound, right? It is voice sound because we use the vocal cords from here to make the pronunciation correct. Is that clear? Okay. Is that clear, people? Yes? Yes. yes. No, maybe? Yes? yes? Okay. Yes. Now, we're going to practice the pronunciation right now for this verse, the ones that I just showed you. Let me show you again the clean, the clean version. Can you see it? Yes. Okay. Can you please take a screenshot for this so you can practice with your partners? Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Are you done? Yes, I got it. Yes. Okay. Now, we are going to practice in pairs just the pronunciation. That's what we're going to do. We're going to practice the pronunciation with those verbs. Those are enough verbs. If you listen that your classmates need help, you're going to help them, right? If you listen, for example, that I say, help it. Is that correct? Helped. No. Helped. Very good. Right? You say, no, Sylvia, that's not correct. The pronunciation is helped, right? So we're going to help each other right now, right? To make the correct pronunciation. Now, are we ready? Yes. Okay. Yes. Let's work with other people, right? And let's start right now. Let's get ready. Let's practice pronunciation. Let's go. Wake up, Juan Francisco. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Choose your groups. Select your, select your groups. Mari. Fatima, let's go. The fast is very difficult for me. <laughs> for everyone, don't worry. <laughs> I'm so confused. Tell me. Ask me questions. Ask me questions. Come here. Questions. I can make an answer. 
questions. Suficiente con aguantarnos, Miss. How Ruben Ruben means the meaning of rubbed. Yes, rubbed. Rubbed. Okay. We're going to do. We're going to do the same here. Uh, can you see my computer? Yeah. Yeah. I don't yes. know why this here. We know the video. No, no. We go here. We go here. Rob. And then it says here moves one's hand or a cloth repeatedly back and forth on the surface of something. For example, you can rub exactly like that. You can rub a pair of shoes. Right? And then we're going, if we say, mm, I don't get it, I don't know, I don't know what that is, then we go here, right? That is robbed, right? That's where we can have a, no, well, it's, that's barbecue rub. Let me show you here. Like, how can I show you? For example, like you have this, like you have this, and you are going to rub it like this. Um, that is robbed. Right? I or something when you they say rub my hand, right? That is something that they can also do, right? Okay, very good. So that's the meaning of rub. But always if you have like questions on what is the meaning of something, we just go to Google and you click first. Look at this. I didn't look for the translation, right? I look for the meaning. So I I try to understand a little bit more the meaning in English, of course, right? And then I go to pictures or images, and then I get more. Oh, that's that's usually uh, the meaning there. Usualmente todas las imágenes que le van a aparecer tienen que ver con el significado de la palabra raw, right? Mm -hmm. Qué buena It's better to to go to Google Translator. <laughs> no, not to Google Translator <laughs> because here. <laughs> because here, for example, you can get the pronunciation. Look, uh, I don't know if you can if you can listen to the pronunciation. Let me see. No, I don't think you can listen. Give me one moment. Uy. Can you can you listen to this? No. 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 Let me show you. What I like about Google is that it gives us the, the pronunciation of the words that we need, no matter what. Right. Can you say it now again? Yeah. Yes? Okay, can you listen? Rub. Yes. Rub. Rub. Okay, yes. very good. Rub. So you say, ah, oh, that's the pronunciation. Uh -huh. Exactly. That's what, I, that's, that's what I like this. Rub. Rub. So I practice Rub. more. Mm -hmm. Very good. Any more questions? No? Uh, okay. No questions. Let's practice. Let's practice. Okay. Start it. Want it. Need it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Help it. Helped. 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 <laughs> Helped. 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 Very good. Helped. Local. No, looked. Look. Uh, look. Looked. Look. 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 Very good. Actually, you don't pronounce the E. Sniff. Mm -hmm. Sniffed. Sniff. Listen, Sound. Ellington. Ellington, you don't pronounce the E. You don't pronounce ED. You don't say sniffed. No, sniffed. Sniffed. Looked. Sniff. You don't say look it. No. Look. Help. Look. Mm -hmm. Sniff. Yeah. Sniff. Sniff. Loud. Loud. Laugh. Laugh. Loud. Laugh. Loud. No. Laugh. Listen. Laugh. Loud. Listen. Laugh. 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 Is there a laughy taffy? Do you know what the laughy taffy is? Wash. Uh -huh. Laughed. You don't know the Laffy Taffy's? No. No. Explain us. Laffy Taffy's are candies from a movie. Ah. So you say Laffy yeah. Taffy's? 
That's why they, they are called, you know, the verb is this, right? Can you see my computer? Yes. yes. Laugh. That's the verb, yeah. right? Laugh. And the, the, the candies are laffy taffies. Right? These are laffy taffies. They appear in a movie that is called mm. and Candy Sugar Rushes, I think. Laffy taffies. Laffy taffies. <laughs> Because they are they are very happy. The colors are very happy. Mm -hmm. And okay. the candy crush, the the game candy crush and laughy taffy. Uh -huh. <laughs> very good. <laughs> hasta hoy, hasta okay. hoy entiendo eso. ¿Qué decían ahí? Ah, ya que ven el nivel 3000. <laughs> okay. I see you in a moment, okay? Okay. Very good. See you, see you, see you. Could be some and you you never and you mm -hmm. never listen and you never watch it that words those words those those words, words uh -huh. you don't watch it those words before so it's i think that it's really really hard i don't know if you you must remember i s t or d so, at the end because you use them every day you don't have to, you're not like, ah, como se escribe eso? No. With the, ah. ah. No. <laughs> because one, once you use them every day, you're going to use them, you're going to use them, and you will forget about the rules. Right? Okay, only it. it you just need it to practice. Stays, only, only the pronunciation stays, right? Mm -hmm. Exactly. But, okay. But you so need to practice. See. You need to practice. You will be your teacher the next level, please. Can you? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, <laughs> it would be nice. It would be nice. But I, I, just the the principal decides that, Mr. Sign. Yeah. Miss, Mr. Sign, sign, Mr. Sign, please. If you are watching this, <laughs> please. If you watch, <laughs> if you are watching this. <laughs> <laughs> Melvin solo le hizo leer. I like to say to I like see I think say to Alan. Hopefully, yeah, so. I, I like I like when you said niña. Niña. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> que la María me hace decir eso. <laughs> yes. Okay. Good. Questions about pronunciation, guys. Any questions that you may have? Uh, the last one, teacher, continue. Continue. Oh, no. Perfect. That's the pronunciation. Continue. Continue. Mm -hmm. continue. The only okay. thing, the only thing, guys, is that you need to make it more like mm, fancy, you know? Basically. Okay. Continue. In damage. Yeah. Okay. In damage. Okay. Hmm? Damage. The word damage. 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 Damaged. That's correct. Damaged. Damaged. Now, Damaged. the only thing, for example, this word, how do you say this word in English? Let me Wait. show you here. Look at the chat. How do you say that word in English? Papaya. <laughs> yeah, that's the pronunciation in English. But you want to sound more American, right? More like a gringo, right? You need to say yeah. papaya. 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 Very good. Papusa. Papusa, yeah. You like, <laughs> you, do you like the papusa? <laughs> I guess yes. I do. <laughs> yes. Which means with the countries. Hmm? It's the same with the names of the countries. The, the yeah, countries exactly. More native, I don't know. For example, you can say El Salvador, right? Mm -hmm. El Salvador is a beautiful country, but if you want to say more like English person, you would say, El Salvador. Right? El Salvador. El Exa Salvador. Exactly. That, that's good pronunciation. Very good. Like very exactly. <laughs> exactly. If you don't do that, right, then you're not going to pronounce like with good intonation so that the people in the United States will understand what you're saying. Right? So yeah. you need to say continue, damaged, helped, right, waited, Help. Right. Th that's the pronunciation you need to give to the words. Okay? Very okay. good. Did you finish the practice? No? Maybe? Yeah. 
I get, we guess. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I think we should go back because it's 9.45. Jesus Christ. Almost. Let's go. Yeah, Laura. almost. Almost, Laura. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, so I'm going to have some of you you know, to pronounce <coughs> the the some of the verse that we're gonna have here, right? So I need you to pay attention and let's see if you really practice. Can you see my computer? Yes. Yes. Very nice. So I'm going to select some of the verse here, right? And you tell me if uh, the pronunciation. So we'll select this two, then these three, these three, these three. We have the, we're going to have different people pronounce it these words. Who wants to pronounce the first two? Francisco. Okay, Edwin, go. <laughs> uh, want, want, and need it. Wanted. Wanted and need it. Wanted and need it. Very good, Edwin. Now let's see. Uh, choose the next person, Edwin. I know who's going to. <laughs> Francisco. Francisco. Okay, Francisco. Okay. Helped, looked, and left. Sniffed, sniffed, very good, very good. Sniffed, very nice. Who's next, Francisco? Pongamos uh, Ellington. Ellington. Oh, ya se fue. Okay. Launched. Launched, like the ones we have? No, laughed. Oh, laughed. It's laughed. Mm -hmm. Laughed. What's. Watched and watched. Very good. Very good. Who's next, Ellington? Um, wait a minute. <clears throat> Fatima. 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 <laughs> okay. Uh, kissed, danced, and fixed. Very nice. Continue there. Who's next, Fatima? Melvin. Melvin? Called. Cleaned. Offered. Offered. Okay, very good. Right now, we're exaggerating a little bit the pronunciation. Okay, very good. Who's next, Melvin? Um, Sandra Corina. Sandra Corina. Okay. Then... The damage, the damage, love it. No, loved, loved, very good. Love it, use it. What use it? No, no, look at the look at here, look at this. Dear, uh -huh. love it, use it. No. You, no. no, you are right now, you're telling me this pronunciation. No. I want this pronunciation. No. No. Don't say, uh, listen to Melvin. Melvin, can you please go with the first three verse? No. Called. Listen, Sporina. Okay. Called, cleaned, offered. Offered. Very good. He didn't say called, cleaned, offered. No, that's not correct. Is it cl called, cleaned, yeah. offered? Offered. Okay, offered. now you, Corina? The, the maid. Damaged? No, dam, the damaged. Loved. Loved, Loved. Loved. very good. Loved. Used. 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 Very, no, you said no. no used. 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 Use. Very good. Who's next, Corina? Uh, Vero. Veronica. 
Amas. Rule. Amazed. Amazed. Okay. Amazed. Rule. Claim. Claim. Claimed. Very good. Amazed. Robbed. Claimed. Very good. Very good. Now, I need you to pro help me out. Choose another person, Corina. You mean? Oh, Veronica, I'm sorry. Choose Veronica. another person. Mm, Raul Francisco. Raul Francisco. Can you please pronounce these words here at the bottom? With this sound? Raul Francisco, are you there? No, he's not here. Ya viene corriendo. Raúl. 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 Ajá. ¿Por qué se va? I need you to pronounce, Raúl, the, these verbs at the bottom of the page using this pronunciation. Uh, follow it. And enjoy. Uh -huh. Play. Uh -huh. Try. Continue. Continue. Okay. Continue. Continue. Very good. Very good. So it, give an applause to everyone. Very good. Anybody else wants to try? Anybody wants to try? Nobody? Who wants to try? Anybody? Somebody? Nah, pues, no quieren practicar. <laughs> well. Let's see, Maria is here, no? Maria. Maria. Let's see. Esther, uh, let's give it a try, Esther. You were practicing a lot, so let's see. <laughs> let's go with this, the ones in the middle. Laughed, watched, laughed, 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 watched, watched, and watched. Okay, very good, very good. What? Remember that if we say laughed, we're going with this sound, and that's not the one, laughed. the sound that we want, right? We want this sound. Okay, very good. And the last person, let's see, someone who doesn't speak much, was me. Go, I need you to pronounce the, this verse for me. Okay, is amazed, robbed, and claimed. Amazed, robbed, claimed. Very good. Very good. So, do you have a question about this pronunciation, people? Any question that you may have? Questions? Uh, no, no questions. Okay. So tomorrow we're going to have a great pronunciation for past verse. Okay. Let's continue working here. Now we're going to work here. I need you to look at my computer right now. And this is on your book also on page 44. It says there, write simple past questions using the verse and pronouns that are given. In parentheses, take turns asking the questions you wrote to your classmates. But we're not going to do the, the asking questions. I need you to tell me what will be the question. If I have number one, right, what do you think the answer for number one could be? Where did you meet? Did you meet? your boss yesterday did you meet your boss yesterday okay very good <coughs> coronavirus coronavirus did you <laughs> did you meet <coughs> did you meet hey, hey. your boss yesterday very good that will be number one did you meet your boss yesterday okay did very good you? What is number two, Alan? Uh, 
the no. Mm -hmm. Does she? Does she attend things? Does. <laughs> Hmm. No. Mm. Simple past questions. Did, simple past questions. Mm -hmm. Did did she stay? Did she did she did she, did she, she stay? Ah, uh, did she attend? Did she attend? Attend the July conference. Okay. Did she attend the July conference? Very good. Continue there, Edwin. Um, let me see. I can see the... Oh. Number three. They, they, oh, that's difficult. Let me see. Mm, does, they, does, does they stay not right? Simple past. No. What is the auxiliary that we use with simple past? Did they stay in the meeting last night? Very nice, Edwin. Did they stay mm -hmm. in, the meeting. in the meeting last night? Very good. What I is... was confused. Sorry. No, don't worry. Don't worry. It's okay. Ooh, this is with double S. This word, pass. Okay. Yeah, sorry. Okay. Number four, please hear. Uh, Melvin? Or, uh, did he pass the test? Did he test. pass the test, right? The very is with double S, okay? If this one is incorrect. Did he pass the test? Okay. Passed. What is the next Passed. one, Veronica? Passed. Did you have fun at the Christmas party? Yes, I did. Okay. Did you have <laughs> Did you have fun at the Christmas party? Very good. Party, party, party. What's next, uh, Fatima? Did it start on time? Did it start on time? Did it start on time? Yeah, it did. No, it didn't. Right. What is next here? Um, is there number seven? I can see. Did they leave early? Did they leave early? Did they leave early? Very good. I'm pretty sure you're taking notes on your notebook. Now, number eight, Francisco. Did he arrive on time to the conference? Did he arrive on time? On time to the conference. Okay. If you look at here, making questions in simple past is very easy. Right? It's very, very easy. We just need to add the auxiliary did at the beginning, then the subject, and then the verb in the base form and the complement. Right? That's the way we create questions in simple past. What would be another question that you can think of? Any question with all the verbs that we have seen today? Let me see. We still have two minutes. I'm going to stop sharing and I will ask you. I, I need you to tell me one sentence before you go. One sentence in past or one question? Let's see. Think about one sentence in simple past or one question. Hmm. Um, Start. Mm -hmm. Did you go to the work yesterday? Did you go to work yesterday? Very good. Did you go to work yesterday? Very nice. That's perfect. Did you stay at home yesterday? Yes, I did. <laughs> That's a perfect question, right? Very good. Right, another question or another sentence in simple past? Very good. Are Edwin, we, is there? Mm -hmm. Are we stayed uh, at home? No. I'll be what? back to you. Simple past. Don't use ah, R. Okay. Simple okay. past. Uh, Lesson was two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. 
Ok, ok. Verónica. Did my mother cook dinner? I don't know, did she? <laughs> Very good. That's a good question. Did my mother cook dinner? You don't know the answer. I don't know either because she lives in another <laughs> department. Okay, very good. Think about your question, Alan. Raul Francisco, your question. Or your sentence in past. Didn't go to the work yesterday? I didn't go to the work yesterday. Very good, Stan. Did you listen to music before sleep? All the time. Yes, all the time, okay? Did you visit my family on weekend? No, I didn't because I don't know your family. But that's a good question, Corina. That's a good question. Okay, Melvin. Uh, uh, did you call your mom yesterday? No, I didn't. Oh, I forgot. So bad. Bad. Yeah, it's so bad. Okay. Ellington, Osmin, Juan Francisco. Did... Uh... Mm -hmm. did, did the dog dig holes today? No? I don't know. Your no. dog actually dig holes today in your in your garden. Yeah, I put that thing to 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 avoid that. To avoid that, right? <laughs> okay, that's no, a bit, no, that's he, a good question. Yes. <laughs> no, he didn't. No, he didn't. Va a ser plana Alan con los... Sorry. Ellington, si no nos hacen su pregunta, no nos vamos. Ellington. Por uh -huh. sí. Ellington, Ellington, Ellington. Yes, Laura. No, Ellington. Did, did our work tomorrow? What? No, tomorrow no, because that's future. In past, Ellington, I'll be back to you. Juan, think about your question, Ellington. In past... Did he, did he work... Uh, I don't know, today? No, in past. Yesterday. In past, oh, okay. No le ayude. Yesterday. Yesterday. Juan Francisco. Me quiero, me quiero ir. He worked yesterday. <laughs> no, another one. No. <laughs> of me, your question. Tengo your... sueño. Uh, Did you work yesterday? No. <laughs> yeah, but... Copycat. <laughs> Raúl, your question. Go, Raúl. Go, Raúl. I, I wanted my coffee. You wanted your coffee? I have wanted my coffee. That's, that's present perfect. It's niño adelantado. Simple, fast. I wanted my coffee. I wanted my coffee. <laughs> oh, no. Vamos, Raúl, tú puedes, tú puedes. You did. Eso tiene sentido. Ok. Oh, no, question. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Did, did he want it my uh, coffee? <laughs> did he want my coffee, for example? Huh? I don't know. <laughs> Osmin, that, that's somehow good, Raúl. Ellington, okay. Osmin, Francisco. Did you eat pupusas yesterday? No, I didn't. Oh, yes, I did. Zucchini pupusas. Yes, I did. Very good. Very what? good. What? Yeah, Do you watch nice. TV in the afternoon? <laughs> yes, I did. I watched a movie. Very good. Yeah. Ellington. Yeah, Esther. Yeah, Esther. <laughs> did class take a lunch yesterday? Did who? <laughs> Did class take a lunch yesterday? Who's What's class? your chat? What's your chat? <laughs> <laughs> class. Ellington. <laughs> Sorry. <Come on. laughs> What's your chat room? Concentrator, bro. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Man, you can do it. Come on. Fatima, your question? Did you give me my eyes are Did closing you? right okay, yes. now? Yes, did he I watch say, did you listen to yesterday? music Did he watch TV yesterday? Watch. Did he watch TV yesterday? Watch. Give an applause hey. to Ellington. Very good. Ooh. Ooh. Very good. Okay, we need to pay attention, guys. So I will I will let you go right now. Right, we're going to finish at, uh, right now. And tomorrow we keep practicing 
with simple pass, look at the discussion form and finish the activities. Si no las terminas, se van un punto menos por cada tarea que no termine. Va a dar cinco en el examen final. Padre Celestia. Exactly. So, let's go. Have a beautiful night. Take care. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.